big bullies don't provide four and a half billion dollars when the neighbors are in trouble. Are we going to relink the SARC country? So are we moving towards more of a BIMSTEC organization? And also, how, is there a possibility of again reviving SARC? I would say we don't have the kind of issues in BIMSTEC uh, which we do uh, in SARC. There is a will uh, to cooperate. There is a desire to take it forward. But uh, because I fold into it the, the other question as well, you know, how is India perceived by neighbors? You know, the big change today, uh, in this part of the world uh, is what has happened between India and its neighbors. When you say India is perceived as a big bully, you know, big bullies don't provide four and a half billion dollars when the neighbors are in trouble. Big bullies don't supply vaccines uh, to uh, other countries when COVID is on or make exceptions to their own rules to respond to food demands or fuel demands or fertilizer demands because some war in some other part of the world has complicated their lives. You also have to look today at actually what is changed uh, between, between India and its neighbors. Uh, with, certainly with Bangladesh and Nepal, I mean today uh, you have a power grid, you have ro roads which didn't exist a decade ago. You have railways which didn't exist a decade ago. There's use, usage of waterways. Indians, uh, Indian, uh, you know, businesses used ports of uh, Bangladesh on a national treatment uh, basis. So if you actually look today at the connectivity, the, uh, the just the volume of, uh, you know, people moving up and down, the volume of the trade which is there, the investments which are there, it's actually a very, very good story uh, to tell. Not just with Nepal and Bangladesh, with Sri Lanka as well, I would say even with Maldives. Uh, and, and Bhutan, I mean, I, I don't want to miss them out because they have just been consistently uh, strong partners. So our problem in the neighborhood, very honestly, is in respect of one country. Uh, and, you know, and in diplomacy, you always hold out hopes that, yes, okay, keep at it, and who knows, one day, you know, where, what the future holds. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.